Yo there guys, what is up, Luke Games, and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition, and last time we left off with, well, did we leave off with a quest? I believe we did, I'm not too sure, I know I did a building, I know I uh, built the pixel art, which was turned out pretty well, as you can see it's the Spider-Man, along with Batman and Superman, I was really proud with that, and our pixel arts are coming along nicely, now there's no sort of thing for these i was gonna do them like all in rows so that i can have like rows of pixel arts across the world but it doesn't look like we're doing that and i don't know what to do about the torches because i might remove them all and remove the background off those i mean it does the sonic one does look pretty cool though with the background doesn't it i've got to admit having the background there does sort of outline it on the map but i'm not too sure <laughs> the square oh my god the squirtle i do need to replace that or something i don't know when you get up to it closely it looks good on the map, it looks like literally someone has painted Squirtle with poo or something. But anyway, guys, big shout out to everyone who commented on the last video as well. I do these once a week, uh, at the start of the week. So if you comment on the Friday's video, then you'll get a shout out then. So shout out to all these people on the screen now. They're just going to keep going down. And thanks so much for all the awesome comments recently. I mean, I've been up to date with all these episodes. I've been posting weekly three episodes a week. They're Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Everything else. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday also try it, but it's like 3DS or Android edition. And I've got a couple of more things. I will be starting a PC playthrough very soon. Most likely. I don't know if it's going to be soon or if it's not. I'm not sure yet. But we're going to jump in today on Xbox One Edition, and today, I saw one of these traps, but, uh, not traps, these teleporters, because I've never really sat there and sorted out these teleporters, so today, I really wanted to do that, and maybe take them somewhere, I don't know, but I need the blue one, so the blue one, I don't know where to take them, so the first one takes us to a normal biome, so when we use that, we go to a normal biome, the problem is, how am I going to get a wire that doesn't overlap another wire. That That's the problem that I'm going to have, I think. That the uh, wire is going to overlap the other wire. And I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to combat that. Whether I put it through somewhere else. It's just, if you put them through doors and stuff, I know that they actually open the doors. Or if you put them through lights, they go through the lights. So, you've got to be really careful in that aspect. And... If I'm going to have a teleport room, I've got to have it so it teleports across. But I don't know the best ways of getting it through, if that, if you know what I mean. I don't know the best ways of getting it all the way there. But we're going to need a lot of wires to do this. And it's going to take us so long. So I might only wire one up an episode and see how it goes. Because I'm pretty sure if you wire them up to um, doors, they open doors as well. So I've got to like totally go through the doors. Um, and yeah. So this one I'm wiring down. Hmm, am I going to be able to put it through there? Hmm, that, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I'm not going to be able to put it through the bottom, I don't think. Unless I can do it... Yes, I can. I can do it further than I need to. So what I'll do is I'll buy a bunch of wires after this, and then we'll continue with it. I'm going to be able to go to there, and then from there, we can actually go through here. So I don't know if this is going to work, because I know on the Xbox, there was a, a maximum where you could place it to. So I don't know if that's going to be a problem today, or if we're going to have no problems whatsoever. So let's go talk to Amy and see what she's selling. Okay, she's selling some minecart ways. Shall I make some booster tracks? I mean, I need to figure out how to make the power ones, but I might make also make like a roller coaster across my map and have one that goes across... And, like, has a few jumps and stuff. I think that'll be really fun to make. And it'll be cool for you to go on a journey with me to make that. Because it it's really fun to do. And it's really cool to see how other people do it, you see. And I've never made a roller coaster track. Or a minecart track, of, as we call it. I've never made one myself. So, it's going to be a, definitely a challenge for me to figure out how to do it myself. And what was I doing? Buying wires. I don't know why I went that way then. So buying wires. Amy, sell me some wires today. So I've got a bunch of stuff on me. Hopefully I can buy all the wires in the world that I need. Okay, that's enough. Um, I don't know why I only bought that many. Don't I have... Okay. Oh, I think it's because it went up to the max stack of 999. I think that's why I stopped buying them. If I go back to it. But a thousand should definitely be enough for today. Uh, or at least I think it'll be enough for today. I hope it will be enough for today. That's all I've got to say. All right, here we go. So if we put it down, and I want one of these in the most common biomes. Now, this one's going to go down to my... I've got one in the regular biome. This one's going to go down to this here. So when I need to go down here, I'll be able to choose the teleporter instead of traveling. Because we do a lot of traveling on this. And I think it, it's got to a point now where if I have teleporters, it will make the traveling so much faster. <laughs> and of course it would, because it's, it would, it's 
teleporters. <laughs> it's not going to make it any slower, is it? It's not going to make it any slower whatsoever. But we can make our way down. If What I can do is if I can put it down further enough, I can like slide down. Oh, it goes a bit too fast. But I can stop. That's good. You can't see anything, though. That's the problem. Hmm. We've got torches. We've got ultra bright torches on us. So I'll place a few of those down uh, before we go down. There we go. Let's just place a couple down so that when we're going down, we don't go into complete darkness. There we go. It's another one. And we should be good from there. So let's make our way back up now and continue with building this track. So this track's going to... Uh, not track. This um, route. We'll call it a route. This teleporter switch. I don't know. But... Hopefully this works. Like I say, I'm not, not too sure if you can get something so you don't have to place wires along the whole thing. Like, maybe get some connectors or something. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If you could get, like, a, a connector what goes from one to the other without having to place wires. If it, was like, if it was like a wireless connection that you had to have it linked up to some sort of beacon, that'd be a pretty cool idea, actually. I think I might put that idea forward somewhere because... That's actually a really good idea. That's probably the best idea I've had for a quite a long time. But yeah, here we go. So we've got some torches now and it's not going to be totally just dark. So here we go. We're going to make our way down and completely fail at actually putting the tracks down. Or the actual... Um, I keep calling it a minecart now because I've got a minecart in my head. I don't know how to do that. Like, they have something in their head and they just call everything that. <laughs> it's a thing that I always do. But anyway, um, yeah. The wires, we're putting the wires down here. There's a lot of corruption. Whoa, world feeder just blast through. The world feeder shouldn't be a problem. Let's uh, put our temper staff out so when it comes back down, it'll get absolutely destroyed. See that? Got a few cursed flames there too. So it's not going to take us too long to get all the way down here. And once we are down here, we should... It should be faster to get. Because traveling all the way down here is just effort, right? So if I put teleporters down, it makes it so much faster. There we are. So hopefully you're enjoying these episodes still. Because I'm having tons of fun with them. Like I say, I might have a reboot soon though. I was, I was saying last time, a lot of people actually really wanted to see some class playthroughs. I got Ranger and Mage the most. A couple of people said Summoner. A couple of people said other things. But they're the ones that I got the most. Let's uh, use my workers here. I think there must have been a trap here or something because... A ton of wires there just, just sitting around. I don't know. I, I've never placed them myself, so it must have been a trap or something that was there before. But yeah, playthrough. Um, like I said, I might take a break from this. I'll still do Xbox One. It's just I might take a break from this specific series and do a class playthrough. Because I think that'll do pretty well. I think people will enjoy it. And I think it'll be really fun to do, to be fair. Like, it's something different to me. I normally just use melee. So if I choose a ranged playthrough or, or a, a mage playthrough, it's going to be a lot different for me and a lot bit a bit more of a challenge i mean i think it's the mage that has more of a challenge because there's less mage stuff but when you get later on into the game there is a lot of mage stuff so it really depends though i reckon i might go for range first just to get like the, the feel of it and how i'm gonna do and you can expect a lot of deaths because we have a lot of deaths anyway in these episodes and honestly there's so many deaths going on <laughs> so hopefully we don't die as much as what I think I might die. I, I think I'm going to die a lot because <laughs> I always watch Happy Days episodes and it's just... All oh, right, it's because there's jungle down there, isn't it? I was like, Hornets? What's the stuff doing in a corruption by him? But it's because there's um jungle down. But anyway, uh, yeah, Happy Days, he dies a bit like me, but he doesn't die as much as me, but it's really fun. Uh, it's really funny when he does die because it's just always just like, a random part. By something really weak or something really just, just random. And I find, it, I find it super funny. But yeah, see, it, it gives me a bit more confidence as well. Because the veterans of Terraria actually died too. It's like, you think they're invincible, but they're not. But no, um, it, it just gives me a bit more confidence in myself to be able to do something. Other than just <laughs> be a noob at the game. But I'm, I'm not too bad, to be honest, at Terraria. I've got a lot of be lot better than I used to. I've got... Very good at pronouncing things that, well, no, I wouldn't say very good. That That's 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 a bit egotistic of myself. But I'd say that I've got a little bit better at pronouncing things. I'd say that I'm a bit better at the game. I'm not the best. I, I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near good. But, you know, right, let's test this out then. Right, it's this one, isn't it? Right. Lovely. So now we have a teleport. You know, I think I'd rather have it on this side. Just because when I teleport, if I need to teleport back fast, um, it's better if I have it on that side. So there we go. Let's smash that there. Does that work? No. I need to get my blue wires and boom. 
There we go. So now we have our second one linked up. And that, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And what, what we need to do, really, is put it on a block, don't we? That'd be nice to put it on a little bit of a block. Just, uh, just one. What we need to do, though, is grab a block first. Because we don't even have any blocks. Hang on, Truffle Worm. Truffle Worm. We need to get this guy. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, it is. there we go. There we, go. We, need, we, need to, we need to get this guy. Let's go. Boom! Got the Truffle Worm. Any more? Any more Truffle Worms while we're down here? Just the one. That means we can actually fight Fish Run now because I've run out of Truffle Worms. I completely ran out. <laughs> and now it looks like we have another one, which is good. Very, very good. There we go. Good. Good job, Sharknado. Take this one out too. Good good job. The Sharknado is beautiful. I love it as a summoner. Right. Um, Block. Do we have any blocks? Glow Mushroom, if you put these down, does it count as a block? And then if I put the switch on top of it, I think... That will count as a block. Yep. Oh, wait. It doesn't work. Oh, it's because I'm not wired. I was like, no, it doesn't work. I've done something wrong. But there we go. Right. Beautiful then. That's good. So that means we've got a teleport switch that goes all the way down here. Now, hang on a minute. Why is there wires there? Like, there's just wires here? Have I placed those? Or... I don't understand. Why is there a bunch of wire here? It's like... I'm confused. The thing is, they're so perfectly in line. Do you reckon it could have been where a boulder was once? I think it might be where a boulder was once. Because that's like very precisely placed. And they both are the same. So my thoughts are there used to be a boulder here. Or some sort of trap or something. And because I've not, I've definitely not placed these down. I don't remember placing them down at all. Even if I look back on the episodes, I don't think I'll see myself placing them down because I really don't remember this. Seriously, I don't. Why, why would I, why would I put them down here anyway? And it's such a random place. It's, it's just really, really random. But yeah, this truffle worm farm's decent. If you do want to build a truffle worm farm, I'd recommend something like this, but um, a, a larger scale. Because a lot of people ask me, oh, Luke, can you do a guide on how to do a truffle worm farm? And this is probably something that you're looking at. Maybe maybe a little bigger. You know how I've done these, like, things about, what, five blocks up? If you do those a bit bigger and have less, but have them uh, longer, then I reckon you could probably build a really good one. If you do want to build a truffle worm farm. Because a lot of people ask me, a lot of people are always asking what my truffle worm farm looks like. And personally, I don't have one, to be fair. Like, I don't have a specific truffle worm, uh, worm farm, but this is, this is what I built. Don't really have many more tips than just to do that. Oh, moth. You get a, I get a lot of things spawn here as well. It's good to have a little bit of a, a jungle biome because I get moths and all sorts. He's going to drop the dust. Yeah, drop butterfly dust. He didn't look like butterfly fly dust on the floor for some reason. I didn't think it was actually butterfly dust. But there we go. We've set one. And I really, really want to set up a second one. And what we're going to do is fight some bosses though because... We don't have many plantar spawns. Now, I don't think that it really matters the amount of uh, bosses you've killed. Once you've killed the three, they just spawn naturally. But, I think if we kill some bosses, that'll be very good. Yeah, we need to do that. So, let's get some bosses. And where have we got all of our boss spawners? I reckon I placed them... Right, so there was a couple in that chest, guys. I've got myself some boss spawners. But, is it turning daytime? It looks like the sun's coming up. So, we've just missed out on nighttime, haven't we? Literally just missed out. I think it literally just turned night time as I was setting up the trap. So, uh, the teleporter, sorry. So, let's go check what the time is. And, yeah, 6.38 a.m. That makes sense. So, we'll kill them next time. This time, what we're going to do is talk to our angler. We must be very, very close to getting the hotline fishing pole. Really, we must be. So, there's a really, really rare type of pixie that Born with many wings that can't actually fly. It swims with a fish and it lakes surrounded by blue colored grass. My fish tank needs a lamp. So I want you to catch the pixie. So we've got a pixie fish now. Where did pixie fish come from? Where would you catch a pixie fish? Now, my first thoughts are hollowed biome. But it could be totally wrong because the gem fish from last time or jewel fish, I think it was called. The jewel fish from last time, we didn't actually... Uh, catch it in a hollowed biome, and that's where I assumed it would be. So, if we head over to our hollowed biome anyway, and do something there, then hopefully, 
we can catch it. I don't know. But yeah, here's my squirrel, guys. I reckon it looks good in person. Like, say, a bit of light on it. It looks good in person. But when you look at it on the map, it's literally just wood. So, yeah, I don't I don't like painting wood and doing pixel arts because it just looks... Mm, I'd rather it, it look aesthetically good and good on the map at the same time. But you can't win them all. But I think the pixie fish is just in the normal hollowed biome. I'd imagine it to be because it's a pixie fish and the pixies are in the hollowed biome. It would make a lot of sense, to be fair, to have it here. So, the first thing I do is swap these around. I always do this because it increases my chances like crazy. I got I got the jewel fish in one, one reel last time. So, let's just see how well this goes. A line can't break. Uh, oh, I know what I know what it is. If you've ever got the truffle worm in your first bit in your inventory, then it will not let you fish. So, there we go. Should let me fish now. There we go. So, we've got bass. Oh, we've got pigs attacking me. Ah, oh, the traveling merchant has arrived. Hang on. That's that's two nights in a row. I've had back-to-back -back traveling merchants now. Is that supposed to happen? That must be extremely random. Like, extremely random. I didn't even know you could get back-to-back -back traveling merchants. I didn't even think that was a thing. Like, normally I'm waiting so long to get a traveling merchant. As you saw, he departed near the start of the episode, I'm pretty sure. Unless he departed just before I started the episode. But, he's arrived again. So we need to go check what he's selling. Because um, I think it was the sitting ducks fishing pole. Which we never got. And it would be nice to have for our fishing pole collection. It would definitely be nice to have. Well, I don't think the pixie fish is here. Because we would have got it by now. Like how our fishing look is crazy. I thought that was it then. But that's a princess fish. Princess fish were right for money to be fair. If you catch one there. They're decent for money. They really are. Okay. We need to make our way back up now. We don't, we don't have any... Oh, we don't, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and fish. Why not? Why not? We've got some room to fish, and we can make it up here. So we do fall again. Oh, princess fish! I think they sell for like twenty-five silver. I don't know their, their exact uh, sale price. We've got three in a row. What is this? But I don't even know if this is the right place for the pixie fish. That's the problem now at the minute because hmm, I don't think it is the right place for the pixie fish. We got a. I'm going to try 10 more. All right, one. Come on, where's the second one? Oh, that's a bit too close to us, isn't it? We're going to be able to catch it like that. Two. Come on, give me two. Come on, you know you want to give me two. It's taking a long time, so it might actually give me the pixie fish this time. No, it didn't. So I've just checked on the trial wiki, and it's definitely in here. It's just, I don't know if we're just getting really bad luck. We get lots of princess fish, but no pixie fish. And they should definitely be in the hollowed biome. This is 100% hollowed biome. I don't know if I'm too close to the corruption, though. I'm not, not too sure. Uh, I shouldn't be, as far as I know. So we should be good. And we should be able to catch it. It's just I think we're just getting really unlucky with it. That's all I can think. We get loads of bass, loads of princess fish. We've got five princess fish so far. So I'm going to do five more reels. And if I don't get it in five more reels, then I'm just unlucky. That's one. Is this our second one? Come on, I really want that hollow fishing pole. This is why I want to really want to finish these quests and do them. But it just looks like it doesn't want to give it us. We're going to bass that time. Come on, we're in a hollowed biome. You've got to, got to get, get some slack. Just a little bit of slack. Come on. Three. This is the fourth one. Four. And this is the fifth one. Five? Oh, we've got a crate. That, that's pretty good. I'll pick up the crate. What I'll do now then is use my potions because, well, it increases our chances of getting the fish. And we've got the potions and we don't use them, so we might as well get them. Now we know we know if we're going to get it or not because we've used the potion, the sonar potion. The sonar potion, so helpful. That, really? Seriously? Are you actually kidding me right now? It gave it me the first one. That is ridiculous. It gave me the first one. <laughs> We're fishing all that time. I use my potions. And it gives me the fish the first time. The very, very first time. That is ridiculous. There's an iron crate as well. We're getting crates. I'm going to fish a few crates up if I can. Because I'm using a crate potion, so I might as well. Got a princess fish there. I'll take princess fish because at the end of the day, they're still quite good. There we go. That's another princess fish there. Come on, give me another one. You know you want to. You know you want to give me one. 
Come on. You know you want to give me one. Right, I'm going to fish five more things. One. Ooh, iron crate. Lovely. Come on, where's the second one? Two. This is the third one now. Three. No. Three. And this is the fourth one. Four. The last one. Five, 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 five. We've got a bass. Okay, let's swap everything back out then. And then we will go back into... There we go. Let's let's go talk to Traveling Merchant. Uh, Traveling Merchant? Yeah, Traveling Merchant. Then we'll hand in the quest fish and see what we get today.